I think we're live. Let's try this one more time. We took you through. I cast into the Abbey Garcia Berkeley booth. Showed you some of the cool hard baits in the Berkeley section over there. Before we leave, I wanted to show viewers the Revo Rocket. We've seen it. If you've watched Bassmaster Live at all, you've heard about the Revo Rocket. Pretty sleek red matte finish. 41 inches of line per one resolution of the handle. So I start right here. Three and a half feet of line just would have came into my spool. Uh, 10.1 to 1 gear ratio for the Revo Rocket. It's the fastest on the market. Um, came out this year at ICAST. Obviously, we're right here. The big deal about about this for those flippers, those guys who like to throw top water, basically any bait that you can use, uh, your rod moves the bait. So, not a crankbait, but like dragging a worm, moving a frog, things that you're going to do, uh, move the bait more with your rod, you want as fast of a reel as you can get away with. Oftentimes, you're flipping into a cover, you set the hook, and you want to get that fish out as quickly as possible. Three and a half feet of line are going to come back into your reel with every turn. So it's literally going to take you three turns of the handle to take you 10 feet of line. It's a big deal for flippers and froggers and topwater people to be able to make that long cast of schooling fish. And as soon as they bust somewhere else, you can reel it in real quick and cast over here to a good spot to try to get some more fish. Keep you efficient, more cast. That's the Revo Rock. We've got a lot of other re uh, Revos that came out this year. The Beast, that's a heavy duty reel. But the Rocket is a pretty cool deal as well. So, we're going to take you from this booth over to the next booth. The next booth is the Shimano booth. They've got a lot of, obviously, rods and reels. That's what they deal, that's what they deal in the most. Excuse me as I walk back. Oh, this is going to be online. good, Ronnie. Me online if someone can no, yeah. we're not going to do that, Ronnie. But in the Shimano booth, they, uh, one cool thing, I cast, they do awards. They vote on best of show, freshwater hard bait, freshwater soft bait. Um, reels, rods, combos, electronics, everything. There's a category for each uh, new aspect of apparel at ICAP. Corrado DC and Shimano won Best in Show of Reels. We showed you the Revo Rocket. That was probably a neck and neck competition because I know people were loving the 10.1 to 1 gear. Shimano, Corrado, DC took the Best in Show. We're going to try to find it, obviously. They want a saltwater reel. We're live on the internet right now. So here right now, is so. <laughs> the Corrado DC. Don't, hey, I don't want you guys to run off. Now you guys, I want you to run off. No, no, so we're in the Shimano booth in the Corrado DC. One best in show. Like literally an hour or two ago. Obviously we know if you're a bass fisherman, you know how smooth Shimano's reels are. Every single time they put out a product, and this one is no different. This thing is so light. I'm a lefty, so it feels weird reeling like this. But I can already tell how light it is, how it fits, how small of a profile it is. Not too small, but perfect for the size of your hand. It's going to be a great reel for you know for any technique. Yeah. 250 bucks. This is Frank Hila with Shimano. Hi hey guys. He's a big proponent of the high school and the younger anglers college. Big yep. supporter of those uh, series. Frank, it's to see how happy are you guys to take that. Uh, obviously, awards are awards, but it just shows the amount of effort that goes in the product. It, it is. It is. At a price point, Shimano's had DC reels in the past, but they were six, seven hundred dollars. This is the first time it's gotten down into really that reasonable range of 250 bucks. And it's basically a Corrado K, which is already a really successful reel. With now the digital, you know, breaking on it, it is amazing whether you're an accomplished angler or a beginning angler. This thing will really help you or expand what you can do. It's, it's been very someone wants to know if you can th and cast it into a wall and it won't back. So Somebody has posted a video online yeah. uh, of exactly that, and it's amazing. It even surprised us at what it could do. If you put it on four, which is it, like the skipping mode, you can skip a dock, skip a 10, 12 feet underneath the dock, and never thumb your reel. Conversely, wow. out at the, when they had the ICAS on the water, uh, one of our guys, Ethan Cox, was making 75, 80 yard cast with it. It, it's a pretty amazing piece of equipment. No reason why it shouldn't have won Best in Show. It's got a great 
uh, a winch, basically, of, yeah. of a handle. Good knobs. For all, uh, all I don't know. Obviously, it's going to put in multiple right in my pants. Someone wants to know if it sounds cool. It does sound cool, just like the other DC reels. Good, good, good. That's the, uh, that's the Shimano Corrado DC. Best in show. Uh, fresh water. Thank you very much. We're going to keep going live somewhere else. Can I go real big? Run, Ronnie, run. <laughs> no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it back. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, send in your questions. Obviously, you guys already know what the deal is about because you knew a lot about that Shimano Corrado DC. Fantastic reel. I'm trying to take these cool baits out of every single booth. But since they're not for purchase right now, it's a big no-no. So, I have to leave it there. I want to take you guys through the show. Send your questions in. We'll try to get some answers. I know we went live a little bit earlier, but we'd love to answer some questions. We're going to try to make it to the Garmin. Electronics are big, and Garmin uh, won the best of show for their live scope. And I want to show you guys a little bit about that. So we're going to make a little bit of a walk as you guys uh, ask questions. We'll get you as many answers as possible. Uh, I do want to let everyone know we're now breaking through a beer line, which is a common eye cast thing. So that's what it looks like. And people want beer. Yeah. One of the other big booths that I can see, the Strike King booth, obviously. Hit a pilot. One stop shop for baits, hard baits, soft baits, whatever it is. And a couple new baits coming out too. They had a Magnum top water. They're a sexy dog. And a smaller version, uh, the normal version, which was a decent size. Now they have a Magnum big top water. Also have the striking KVD 1.5 DD, which is the same profile as your 1.5 square bill. A little bit bigger of a lip. Going to be able to dive. Got more of almost like a finesse diving actually, because it's going to be great for that cooler water. I think it's also going to reach depths that other crankbaits that size don't normally. And that's in the striking booth we just had. Look, I think the garment booths are just over yeah. Biggest and most important thing with a rain suit, it seems, is that zipper. That zipper keeps water out, lets water in. Sometimes you get rainy days when you're riding in the boat behind the console. Rain seeps in, and that's where you get wet. Carhartt covered that zipper. It's a heavy-duty zipper. They upgraded it. And they covered that, and now you can snap it shut. Water's just going to sit there, and it's going to just run off. It's not going to seep in because there's no way to get in. Buckle deal. Bibs the same way. The bibs actually come up to right about here. So instead of coming up belly button or so, it comes up chest high. So you know you're not going to leak through the zipper. You're not going to leak through under the jacket. It's going to keep you there. That's one new thing for Carhartt. Spring of 2019, you'll start to see more of the, the gray and the black rain suit. The tan and the blue and the red are still out. Tan's one. The tan one is one I have and I can attest for. I've actually put it through the ringer. Jordan Lee's put it through the ringer as well. I think we're only like a row or so away. Just keep walking. Chris, any questions? 
Uh, no, not really. We're, we're doing good. For those who missed the first line, this is one of the biggest trade show of the year. 620, 650, I don't want to be wrong, over 600 boots. Yes. Most of them uh, freshwater, bass fishing related. There's some fly fishing and saltwater related as well. And uh, But a lot of this stuff's geared towards the bass fishing, whether it's clothing, baits, electronics, uh, all kinds of upgrades, accessories to your boat. You get to see all those in iCast. We see them at the classic as well. People try to sell a lot of baits and went on to class. iCast is a little bit different. More of like a taste test. Hey, check out our products. And Six, eight XD. Maybe you'll retail them in your stores along the line. Maybe you'll pub them. Maybe the anglers get it. Anglers get it. And hey, that's the biggest. That's the biggest iCast attraction. <laughs> oh my God. Beat him up live, please. That would be fantastic. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Okay, we made the, hop, the walk. You can see if you've been live how many boots we've walked past just to get, just to, get to this booth. A lot of electronic coming out, a lot of cool innovation in that department. And one thing that's been yeah, cool in the past few years is the driving pan optics. Being able to see fish out in front of your boat, pan left or right. Now they have the, the live scope, much clearer. A lot more features you can see where the fish came from and you can see exactly which species they are with how clear the fish are. Still the options to pan it. You can now tilt the bracket and you can almost have straight down shooting sonar. The 2D sonar you're used to seeing underneath your graph or underneath the boat directly. You can see it live now and see fish that are, you catch a fish 30, 40 feet away and you bring the whole school with it. You'll be able to see that school now and be able to drop to them and not just, oh, did they swim to the back? The boat that they go over here or return to this spot. No, they're still under there, and I can watch them. Somewhere. I'm gonna try to show you real quick. If you can find a graph to do so. There's Mark Daniel Jr., latest Elite Series champion. Uh, one problem is they just won Best in Show. So everyone in the world uh, is here wanting to learn about it. The down version of live scope. And then I can go to menu, turn our setup, installation, orientation, and floor. There's your floor. Trees, brim. We've got the Garmin guys right here right now to explain it, but for folks at home live on YouTube, the Bassmaster page, Pan Optics has been great, being able to see fish out in front of the boat to right. the side, left and right. Same deal, you can see right here in the top left of the screen where my finger's at. That's basically where the transducer is. That's where the transducer is, and it's pointing out. You can see you obviously get some coverage underneath the boat, but then all the way out to 60, 70 feet. Explain to the viewers kind of what you're seeing. I know this is a simulation, but it's actual stuff you guys have seen out of the water. But you can see that brush right there. Yeah, you can see the brush, the tree right there sticking up, a lot of brim swimming around uh, as well. And where where Panoptics was phased array shooting one frequency, 417 kilohertz, uh, LiveScope shoots between 500 and 1200 every frequency in a purse. So much more definition. And you'll be able to really see, we, we talked to Cliff Prince yesterday, it's a video on Bassmaster.com. He could see fish this trailing through the grass, and it's one of those things where he could see where they were coming from. He could see, you know. Great, great point. So if these fish drop down, they would blend into the bottom, but I can actually go into the menu, sonar setup, appearance, let's turn our trails on. Let's go to slow. So now I'm watching which way those fish are moving. When they go down into the brush, I can see them. And you can see right there, all those, are all those trails are tree. moving. Uh, slick. And you'll be able to see, obviously, the same thing we're looking at on the fish, but with the brush pile. If you start drifting over it, you know that you need to back up or it's it's back. Back. And you can actually see that in that tree right there. Let me get on the other side. They're shooting. 
cool new feature from Harmon. Congratulations on winning, winning the best in show for electronics. Hey, and I appreciate you coming to this crash for you. He obviously yeah. knows his stuff. Because he's a pro. He knows what he's doing, man. Thank you. Well, he actually talked about his uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to this guy right here. He's good with cameras. We're live. Oh my. We are live. Man. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering whether you're gonna. We run. got Andrew right here, Elite Series Pro Jacob Wheeler, live on Bassmasters YouTube right now. Oh, what's up? What's up? Icast. Okay. Viewers, public, most of the people who are consuming this content don't get to be here in person. It's media, anglers, and the companies that are putting out the baits and products. Explain to people at the helm how cool Icast is. So the first time I came to ICAST, you know, I was, I was 20 years old, well, 21 when I started working for Esther. And so, you know, you're obviously going to work for your sponsors, you're working for your rock, you're going to rap, you're going to get your ears, um, but at the same time, we get out and actually get to see all the products. You know, there's a big thing about going in to the academy and picking up a new product or something like that, but when you get out here, you get like every single new product out on the market, feel it, touch it, everything else, it just, it's just an unbelievable thing yeah, I mean, I look forward to this every single year. Very seldom do I actually get, I mean, you can tell I've almost already lost my voice yeah. doing videos. But, I mean, when I get out of the booth and I get the opportunity to walk around and see different stuff, I mean, it's truly one of the most awesome shows to come to. And so if you ever get an opportunity to come, make sure you come on down. The land up has been doing like three or four years, so it's just one of those things that's very special. That's very cool. Thanks, Jay. Some honey. I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. to get there one point in time. We got one more day left, so we can't have you uh, I'm going to try. All right, I'm going to stop talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jacob Wheeler, Elite Series Pro, Elite Series Champion, 2007. So we may end up wrapping this deal up, but that's just a small sample size. It took you to leave Berkeley, Abu Garcia, the pure fishing boot there. It showed you some of the awesome products coming out there. We showed you the Shimano, best in class, bait casting reel, fresh water, Colorado, DC. A lot of planning and effort. And, and Jacob Wheeler's one of the guys. There's a tank testing right there. You can, let's go back and check it out. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But when he casts it back out, you'll be able to see that swim bait moving. It's going right, right to left. Savage gear. And they're the ones, they're some of the, look at this, look at this. They've got some of the realistic, some of those bats and ducks and big bait fish profile. You might be like, what am I going to catch fish on that? But they will attack it because it's instinctual. It's something they're going to see. I don't know how many snakes I've seen in Arkansas fishing out the lake last month. <laughs> we we had a request to go to Lose. Lose? Yeah. Well, yeah. well, let's hit Lose and Lose then wrap the, it up. The best in show combo. Every year they always have the great and integrated wind grip into their, into their real handle. They've got the different uh, color series rods. And their boots are just straight ahead. But like we were saying with Jacob Wheeler, he's he's excited to see the new baits and everything that's here at ICAST. A lot. You know, it looks like, oh, they just came out with new baits now. Well, like we saw in the, in the Berkeley booth with Justin Lucas and his top water bait, they've been working on it for two years. And it's something that they've been able to keep in their back pocket for two years and be able to test it and make sure it's great for the public so they can debut it here. It's not like this is the first time people have touched them now. There's been a lot of work in it up to this point. But all the other pros are now jealous they've had a So everybody gets to check it out. There's a lot of kayaks, freshwater, fly fishing, salt water. It's a lot of cooler innovation. You saw rain suits at Carhartt over there. I could just say kayak, kayaks have been really big because not everybody has a bass boat. Not everybody can afford a fiberglass boat to go out on the lake. Sometimes you got a pond, sometimes you got a creek. Best thing to put in it's a fish We made it to the lose booth actually at the entrance. So if you came in, that's where you come in. This will be the first booth you see. This is what we were talking about. Some of those color specific matching rod and reel combos. This is 
and what we mentioned, the best in show, rod and reel combo. We're gonna try to get our hands on that rod and reel combo. That's the benefit. That's one of the benefits of a bed. Is you can ask to see the best in show baits and they'll go get them for you so you can show them off to you guys. Worldwide ran away, by the way. Thank you. This is the best in show bait casting fishing rod combo. And it's their black version. We talked about all the colors they've come out with. You've seen the orange and black, you've seen the neon green and white, all those popular, really bright colors taken fishing by slow. This is their black series. Custom black team loose speed stick. This is the one that won best in show. It's got microwave guides. I want to see if you guys can see that at home. There's yeah, a guide within a guide, and it only makes. <laughs> What's that deal with the microwave guide? Basically, when you cast, your line is coming out of your reel very fast. It's going to slap. There might be some uh, tangle, and it limits how far you can cast. With that microwave guide right there for the first one, that means it's going to be more streamlined into a smaller hole. It's not going to be harder to rig because it's got the main big guide there. The microwave is going to streamline that cast. You're going to cast a lot farther with that time. Got the obvious, the, the awesome loose speed spool, the team loose with the wind grip, reel handles. It's a pretty good, and, and I know from using these combos, loose has every single uh, gear issue you can ask for. And the team loose speed spool is a classic reel. Do we know how much that is? I do not know, but I do know they've always came in that affordable. These yeah. reels probably 90 to $100, and the rods are very much the same. So, 200 bucks for a combo these days. Very good. Uh, normally very economical for the young angler. I'm going to put this up and then we'll probably wrap it up. Someone suggested Rapala, which is near our home yeah, base. So. We'll, we'll walk you right back to Rapala. Send in your questions and we'll show you what you want to do. We, we want to answer what you, what you want to know. Sunglasses, Dustin Connell talked about all of them. Costa's new frames. Most sunglasses are used to have brand new frames or lens technology, plastic or glass. Uh, we have not been to Daiwa yet. They, uh, yeah, way over there. Them and uh, there's another booth everyone wants us to go see, but they're on the other side of the world. Like, uh, we're, we're going to hit Rapala and probably wrap it up. So. Hey, uh, Jared, who just commented, we, we went and saw the new Shimano reels in the first part of this video. So, Ronnie's stealing something from TH Marine right now. Wait, we're at the TH Marine booth, and this is something that's really cool. Okay, so it's not, it's not baits, it's not rods, it's not reels, it's not going to maybe catch a bass immediately for you. But this is something, as a boat owner, that I'm really excited about. So, we all know batteries. I'm going to try to take this off if possible. We all know batteries and you've got your normal terminal mounts. You hook up all your electronics, your live wells, everything runs off your batteries. At the end of the day, after a long term of keeping your live wells running, you end up having low juice sometimes. That's not because of the batteries, it's because of your connection. When you've got two wires for electronics, two wires for this or that, you've got six or seven wires on one post trying to draw all that energy. TH Marine, awesome new deal. Instead of just having all your wires put on that with a wing nut to lock it down, I have a three and a five. The five is just sitting behind me. It is a Hydra battery terminal multiplier. Long name, but basically, you mount that to your terminal post. Instead of all your connecting cables, mount that to your post, and then with a simple turn of the hand, 
take your rubber coated strong durable cap off and now you've got three different ports that you can hook all your cables to so if you want a strong connection make sure your batteries are getting the absolute best connection you put them both right there and lock them down you want something else to put in there instead of having six of them all stacked together trying to draw power you'll have what you want on each post and you'll probably get a strong more effective and you're not going to run your batteries out much that's something that as a boat Boat owner, I really am excited about it. It's something that really caught my eye, and it was the first thing that I shot a video of here after I walked around in the lab. That's not a real battery, I'm not that strong. It is hollow. If it was 80 pounds, I would have been struggling much more. That was a good, that was a good stop. Yeah. I'm glad we walked by that. I wanted to show you. We're at 20 percent battery, so we're going to uh, do what we can here and wrap it up. Yes, that's my fault for not charging my phone. Alright. I will bill you all for my foot massage later. <laughs> we put a lot of steps in. No one is going to give you a massage, Ronnie. Maybe next time. Right beside the raft. Yeah, man. Deal. When do we out on the ice when they target us? We're going to see the bond. We're live on YouTube at Noah Bassman. Live on YouTube with Bassman. Justin Lucas, Elite Series Pro. We were talking about his hard things over there on live. That's okay. We got a good run. Havina said he made them all up. So, yeah. He claimed credit for most of them. But we're yeah. in the Hummer Bush and Cutter Booth. One cool thing that I kept thinking about was the integration of the transducer. Best in so, show yep. for the boating accessory. It's built in Mega Down Imaging. And explain that to, to viewers. You've got the, you can see the pictures right there, how clear the electronic shots are from the Mega Down Imaging. And we know we know what Mega is from side imaging, the awesome photos and videos you guys have done yep. in the water. Yep. But now it's in your truck. You don't have to worry about mounting it incorrectly or getting inter interference of any kind due to user error. Yeah, you don't. And the, the best part is, is 2D has always been a band thing. Right on the uh, we pretty much had standard transducer up front, 2D. And now with Mega, the nice thing is, is you can split your screen up three ways. And you can throw in a Mega down image as well. So it just kind of verifies what you're seeing. And that's the... It's really, really nice. Yeah. That you can now pull the yeah. brush pile and you know, it's hooked up. You can literally count it. And, and you can screen. manage what we saw. We saw yeah. you fishing at Lake Milwaukee. Oh, so I got, got yeah. everything wide yeah. over. And, and one thing that he was, anyway, he was poking around the area, yeah. and you're like, yeah. I don't know if the fish have left yeah. or not. Yeah. And all of a sudden, oh, oh, well, one, two, three, there's a couple yeah. here. Boom, hey, Chris Lane, cast our head. Chris uh, Lane catches yeah, one. Yeah, that was all good. It was fun to watch him catch one. So. That's the new Mega Down Transducer in the head of the Mint Truck, Mint Coda Ultrax. It'll be compatible with all the Mega units. Yeah, yeah. Compatible, you know, Hummingbird only. Hummingbird, Mega. And it's offered in Ultrax, Ultrax, Ultra, and Yeah, so Awesome. Just thank you for letting us interrupt. I'm so sorry if we interrupted the board, but it's live. We wanted to live, you. Live takes over everything. Oh, it's all good. Thanks, Justin. Yeah. All right. So, that's been using it, getting get to experiment with it. Now, what we're going to end the show on. Oh, I'm coming back. 
this. One thing we got to see the other day on Bassmaster Live, which if you don't watch that, you should. If you like my voice, I'm on there sometimes. We got to see the Terminator shutter bait. And the shutter bait is like a vibrating jig style. Not your normal, ordinary one, but one that will add to your arsenal. It's not going to replace everything in your tackle box. It's going to be another added aspect. Dave LaFever was thrown in on Bassmaster Live. We got to see it in action. Show, I'm going to take you guys over here and show them. Right behind you, Ronnie. Right behind you. I'm going to step over here with one. Yeah, good idea. Doing circles. So, the Terminator shutter bait is what we just we just talked to you guys about. It comes in nine different colors, two different sizes, three eighths and half ounce. And basically, you know what? I'm going to break the bolts. Ronnie, take what it are out you doing, you. Ronnie? I'm going to take it out for you guys to see. If you haven't got to see it yet, I got very fortunate and got to see one in person and I have one in my tackle box now. Chris, don't be mad at me. I think you got two in your tackle box now. I do. Yeah. No, I'm going to leave this now. Is it a cross between a buzz and a spinner? No, it is a cross between a vibrating jig and a swim jig in my opinion based off of what we heard from Dave Fever. You can see right here, here's the profile. Of it. I'll hold it still for Chris to check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have a molded, they have a molded plastic bill. There's your line tie, and it's a molded concave plastic bill that's going to cup. It's basically like what a pop bar would do. The mouth cups the water, it gives it splooshing action on top. Well, this cups the water below, and it gives it a great back and forth vibration. It's not directly connected to the head. Like most vibrating jigs, it's got a split ring there, so you're gonna have a lot of back and forth action depending on the trailer that you put on it. And what's great is it has a swim jig style head. It's not an Arky style head. The swim jig style head is a sleek design, narrow, great for coming through grass. So this is gonna be a good bait. Um, one thing that Dave LaFever mentioned on live as well as in person this week at iCast is that it's great in dirtier, cooler water. You're able to throw it um, and really slow, really, you don't have to burn this thing to get a good vibration. You can slow it down and get a good vibration out of it. And I think as a chatterbait, as a vibrating jig style lover of baits, I'm really excited about this because it's just another aspect. This will come through wood good. It'll come through wood well because of the head design as well as this is going to deflect off of wood. It's not going to just hit it and then roll over and hook it. It's going to deflect and you're going to keep vibrating because it doesn't take much to start this thing back up after it stops vibrating. So. We, we did a video of LeFebvre that's on video.bassmaster.com yes, and that, yeah. he is excited about this yes. bait. Yeah. Three and four minute video with yeah. LeFebvre, the guy who got to have it for, he's made two uh, top 20s off that bait. One other thing I'm going to show you, the hook keeper. The, look, at the, look at the hook here for one. It's a big, stout, tough, tough hook that I almost just got stuck in my finger. Please do. You fished with this already, great, right? Yes, I fished with this already. It's got a great bait keeper there. You put a swim bait, you can put a crawl style bait, you're going to rig it up there and know that you can catch, you can catch multiple fish over a seam bait and the plastic can let you slide down or rip off of that hook. So, All right. put this back in the package. Do but it. Thank you guys for joining us, Bassmasters YouTube page. Um, it's been fun going live. ICAST 2018 has been a success so far. we got one more day of it or a half day. The rest of today and tomorrow, we'll be able to go around and check out some more stuff. Be sure to follow all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Bring you as much ICAST content, as well as check out the videos, photo galleries, and stories on Fastmaster.com. We'll really be able to give you an insider's perspective on all this stuff here and uh, take the time to check it out. And then be on the lookout for all these baits, products, clothing everywhere in your local tackle store online. Be looking out for uh, Elite Series coverage because these guys are now, it's no secret, they're going to be able to use them in the last two or three events of the season. So thank you guys for joining us. Ronnie Moore here, Chris Mitchell behind camera. Thank you for joining us at iCast Live YouTube.